Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and Jedi is not with me right now. She's upstairs taking a nap. She was physically exerting herself this morning, and a nap was long overdue. I would love to have a nap, but unfortunately, they really don't issue those to people my age that I know of. A while ago, we somehow got a hold of this Ewok figurine produced by Kenner back in the day, specifically for those in the preschool age range. And it wasn't necessarily something that I really knew a lot about because I never had these because by the time they had produced them after the release of the Return of the Jedi movie, I was too old. But you're never really too old to play with Star Wars toys. So I went scouting to see what other figures were produced in the uh, Kenner Preschool Ewok figurine playset range. And one of these, even in somewhat halfway decent condition might go for around $20 or more, depending on which figurine. So I just stopped right there. This was the only uh, figurine from that particular range of toys that I opted to get. And then the other day in one of my Facebook buy and sell groups that I join, uh, not unlike the one that we just spun up for our community, the Galaxar buy and sell group, which you are more than welcome to join for free. It's where you can buy and sell fun things, like what you might find at the Galaxar event. And uh, this person posted that they had this particular playset, a treehouse, that was specifically designed for Ewoks, although I believe it was a, effectively a recast of Tree Tots from uh, Kenner. And uh, he had this, as well as a couple of figures that didn't come with the playset, for sale for like $80. And I thought, okay, that's really not that bad for a playset that was in decent shape and a couple of figures in tow. Of course, my primary interest was specifically uh, with the figurines, not necessarily the, the play sets, me being a figure guy. So I did some research, and it turns out there was an auction happening, not just for the treehouse or someone else's auction for a, a treehouse, some accessories uh, with the treehouse, the full range of Ewok figures, these uh, creatures, not just one full range, I should say, two full ranges of the figures, and I think you kind of know where this may be going. Uh, a couple of the carts and a couple of the wagons, mostly complete, and some accessories that went with the play sets. So, I kept my mouth shut. I placed one bid, no one else bid on the auction, and I ended up getting everything for right around that price. I'm so glad I searched when I did, because uh, as the person who held the auction said, I got a deal. I got a deal and a half. There's no doubt in my mind I couldn't have done better. Uh, it's great, because not only does Jedi now have uh, a range of the Ewok uh, preschool figures or figurines, and they're all in prime condition. I don't know if I can really effectively uh, demonstrate that in the, in terms of what I'm showing you right now, but um, the paint is near perfect. I don't think these were ever played with. There's a whole bunch of Ewok butts. I'm just kind of showing off the backs since you've now seen the fronts, and there's a little Ewok baby there, down there, with a little rattle or drumstick or whatever it is. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they're in prime shape. Both sets of, these are the ones that weren't maybe as nice as the ones that I'm keeping, because I'm going to be keeping a full set myself. So we got two of each figurine, as well as uh, two of the uh, horse figurines. This is a, a glider that will actually attach to the bottom or the base of one of the Ewok figurines. There are no moving parts with these uh, particular figures. Let's see if we can stay right. One of these creatures has, uh, what, is that? what is that called? Uh, 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 a face strap? Obviously, I'm not much of an equestrian. Uh, <laughs> I want, I, I want to say another part, but I know it's not that part. So uh, just to show you, the uh, side-by-side, side, this is the one that came, or one of them that came with the set that I just got, and this is the, the one that we had al already. And you can see that the one we had already was definitely far more weathered. So that's the one I'm going to let her to keep, or let her, let her to keep? I'm going to let her continue to play with, and we also set aside uh, a mommy Ewok and a baby Ewok. So I'm going to keep these other Ewoks safely tucked away for now because Jedi is still kind of being somewhat rough with her toys. And I figured I might as well, figured, so to speak, 
I might as well try to keep as many of these things in as nice of a shape as long as I possibly can. Of course, these toys are ultimately for her to play with. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set them aside, now that you've seen all the figurines, and kind of come back to uh, the treehouse. She's been having a lot of fun with the elevator. You can stick an Ewok inside or something else, shut the door, and then turn the crank in. This is something that actually still works for her, and she's been having a lot of fun doing that. And then the Ewok comes out and says, hey, how are you doing I'm on the mezzanine? Or whatever that is. The stickers are largely intact in here, and there's the uh, the hammock, so in case uh, Daddy Ewok does want to take a nap, like baby Ewok, he can. Mommy could also take a nap. That would be a luxury. Uh, the stickers there are in good shape. Uh, the Pretty much... Most of the pieces on the playset outright uh, were uh, with the the uh, uh, with the auction, so I was happy about that. Uh, there are a few of the pieces that were missing. I don't know if I'm uh, aiming on being complete with it, but it works well enough for now. There's a uh, the, uh, the the top of the hut that one of the Ewoks can jump off of. Psh, don't know if we want to teach that. Not that. We have a glider lying around or anything, but the uh, the tree is now a somewhat permanent fixture in our front room here. Uh, here are a couple of the wagons. You can see that one of them uh, came with a ladder, uh, or I should say the set of ladders. The other one did not. Usually the small pieces get lost first. However, beyond that, I believe that uh, most everything that uh, came with these particular sets uh, was included with the, the bag. It was just these ladders that I think was or that happened to be missing from um, the second wagon. You could uh, affix Ewoks in the front up here, uh, one in the uh, the driver's seat, so to speak. This is, a, I believe, the, the fire truck. And you can see on the back of this, one of the pieces is missing versus this one has got the, the piece, and I think this is the full piece here that goes up. Not perfect, but, you know, Jedi can have fun with playing, uh, you know, make-believe. That's kind of what all this is for. I would have fun as well. Never had these, never really cared to have them when I was her age. Didn't even have them in existence. Uh, this is the wagon, and you can actually strap one of these creatures onto it. Covered wagon. And it has this little latch in the back that should open up. There we go. Open up like that. And you can see there are goodies, supplies, in the back there on that sticker. So place you there again. Uh, the wagons, to my knowledge, are both uh, relatively complete. Not necessarily the, the fire truck, but the wagons, including, let's see if I can get this on just right, some of the accessories. Now, I'm not going to go through every one of the accessories uh, outright, because I know that would take a, a fair amount of time, but uh, just wanted to kind of demonstrate, if anything. Um, I don't know if or when I ever plan on going and completing these particular play sets, but we got dupes of everything, uh, including these nice little rugs. In fair shape. I would say that they were never used at all. You know, some wheelbarrows, uh, some buckets. These are uh, little uh, lanterns of sorts. Still work. Not broken. You can see the fire kind of pops up. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if I have to angle it just right. But these actually go on the front of the wagon. They just hang off this particular part, or theoretically that's what they would do. Uh, a lot of buckets, a set of four brown buckets, two yellow buckets, uh, couches, table or two. We also have a couple of chairs, a nice little seesaw, and I believe the seesaw came with the treehouse. Uh, then a couple of these, not exactly sure how I would use them necessarily, but you know, it's up to the child's imagination. One of the accessories I was happy to see with the tree was this nice little swing that the baby sits inside and swings because Jedi likes to swing, so baby gets to swing. Uh, missing from the tree, I know, is at least one thing, and that is the ladder, or one of the ladders uh, that might come with these play sets. But again, I haven't done much investigation in terms of uh, trying to complete the play sets because I'm not sure how much is going to be used at this time, I'm going to slowly but surely uh, bring these uh, items into Jedi's possession over time because, you know, of course I want her to enjoy them and have fun with them, but there's no need for us to place every single thing out for her. Especially if she doesn't quite understand what's going on. I don't want anything to get lost, anything to get broken. I, mean, I want her to enjoy it, and I think she is so far. 
I do believe that when all is said and done, I should have nine figures here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine figures, not just for Jedi, but for Daddy as well, and, and two of the, uh, the creatures as well, these beasts. Uh, we are watching the Ewoks cartoon. Uh, we, we've caught a few reruns digitally. Jedi's not necessarily uh, into a, a lot of the story stuff yet. She's only two and a half years old, but at least she will be well prepared with plenty of vintage toys that uh, will keep her entertained. And with that, I'm going to play this little music box soundtrack. It's in good shape. This was a separate purchase. A vintage music box. Wicket the Ewok. For kids. And adults. May the Force be with you.